conference room encountered by headquarters in Washington, David Harding addresses a group of men around a long, shiny table. Gentlemen, I'm honored by the presence here of the governors of the several southern states covered by our counter-spy districts 9, 10, and 11. Realize that your state is made with a large criminal operation, selling illegally made alcohol and evading federal taxes. Peter, those for your sleep. Yes, Mr. Harding. District 9, estimated tax loss, $221,000. District 10, $400,000. District 11, over half a million dollars. Now, gentlemen, we don't yet know what gang makes that alcohol or where it's made, but all over your state, counter-spy squads are moving into action. tonight to investigate it in Chicago. Hey, buddy, I'm looking for the famous Flanagan Sisters Corn Syrup Company. Is it in here? No, no, this is only the garage. The office is in that snazzy little building right across the street. Listen, counter spies 
sniffing around my plant here. So don't send any more trucks here from the still till you get word from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Gordon, you had three trucks loaded and ready to roll out of your garage, didn't you? I got them out fast. So sit tight, Melky, and we'll be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peter's to Harding in Washington. No evidence whatever at Hype Gordon's syrup plant to connect it or him with illegal alcohol manufacture. However, have sent agents to trail three loaded trucks that left his garage while I was there, and himself also under surveillance. As including limousine with French chauffeur. Lives in most expensive apartment hotel in Chicago, swarming with uniformed flunkies. Gordon's rental at least 15000 a year for lavishly furnished penthouse apartments. Beauty. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Wake up, sweetheart. Lover boy. Oh, hello, hi. What are you doing? Working. What else? Uh, it's only 12 30, Benny. Say, uh, we got any baloney? Get so asleep on a goddamn waiting place. Must be love. <laughs> What's the matter? The famous Flanagan sisters and Uncle Sam. Holy smokes. Sam? I'm not sure yet. There's no time for you to get in trouble, lover boy. I still need that second moon coat. Oh. Hey, I asked you if we got any uh, belongings. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. Here we are in the money. Living in the most expensive apartment we're going to Chicago. And I have to see belonging and pumpernickel in the icebox. Refrigerator. What's the matter with baloney? It's so crude. But we don't mean frogs, legs, and wine. Around, smile, and after a while, the Thomas Spies will figure I'm an innocent victim. Go away. Uh, oh, holy smoke, how somebody to go without being announced. Maybe it's Thomas Spies. We go on down the hall of the bedroom. Stay there. Go on, go on. Let me know what happened. Uh, uh, yeah? Well, well, hi, uh, hi. <laughs> well, well, say you look just. Exactly the way I thought you would. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not one hair out of place. Press the flesh, hype, old boy. It's good to see you. <laughs> Hell, I let go of my hand. Yeah. How'd you get past the door? Oh, my, yes. <laughs> Look, do you mind if I drop my suitcase right here? Uh, I'm Sam. Sam? Yeah, Sam Vanderford. Your wife's brother, Sam. Sam? Yeah. Oh, Sam. What? How are you? Oh, great hype, great, just great. Uh, you see, I, I hopped the rattle out of St. Louis early today. Made up my mind to hit for the Windy City. You know, for a decent job. I need scope hype, and there ain't no scope in St. Louis. And, uh, just between you and me, I, uh, I come on ahead of Gladys so I can sneak in a couple of hot night clubs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gladys, uh... Come and so. Oh, uh, sure, sure. You see, we thought it was about time we met the man my little sister, Vinny, married last year. <laughs> hey, say, you got a mighty classy joint around here. Kind of small, though, ain't it? As only Vinny and me. Uh, uh, he's in back, I better tell you. Oh, no, hold it, hold it. Don't bother the height. Don't bother the place. I can bet down right here. Uh-oh. Hey, ain't this one of them sofas that opens up into a bed? Hey, this, huh? <laughs> is, is it big enough for two? What? Well, you know, Gladys and I wouldn't want inconvenience or not. We'll be mighty comfortable right here in the living room. <laughs> you mean uh, you uh, couldn't get rooms in a hotel? I, 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 uh, I can work it for you. Hotel? Hotel hype? Uh, when I got relatives I'm fond of like you and Vinny, I wouldn't dream of hurting their feelings by going to no hotel. Uh, I, uh, oh, oh, baloney and pumpernickel, huh? Good, that's good. Yeah. Only I'm sorry there's no frog like that. Oh, don't feel bad about that hype. I love bologna and pumpernickel. <laughs> to Counter Spy Field Office, Chicago. Surveillance report concerning the cuts followed from famous Flanagan Sisters Corn Syrup Company Garage. They proceeded south by various routes to make deliveries to 18 illegal liquor users. They are being kept under observation. Relay this 
report to Mr. Harding in Cardiff by Plane 1, en route to Chicago. Dave, I'm sure glad you're here in Chicago. This new development nails it right to Hype Gordon. He himself ships out alcohol under cover of shipping out corn syrup. But where is the alcohol made? I see only one thing to do, Peter. Pull a new series of raids on his customers in the southern districts that might scare him into revealing where his still's located. This tavern is being padlocked for violation of the law. Watch those rear windows. They're trying to get away. All right, step on it, Jack. We'll be late for the next raid. They're shooting at him. Blast the lock off that door. Hello, Melky. Hey, Hype. Hype, for the love of Mike, you better come out here to the still. Take it apart or something. Hey, you know about all these new cottage by raids? Listen, Melky. They can raid every joint in the country. Won't mean nothing to us so long as they don't locate the still. And they won't so long as I don't go there so the counter spies can tell me. You just keep your head down and sit tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit tight. We ought to do something. No. This is another mob muscle again or something like those West Side guys two years ago. I'd go after them with guns. This has to be played close to the vest. Okay, Mr. Gordon. Suppose I have to call you later tonight. You're home? Home? I can't go home until way later. My brother-in-law's visiting us. What a schmo. I can't, so my, my wife picks up for us. I'm nuts about my wife. And there's my sister-in-law, Gladys. She's tall and skinny. She talks, 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 talks. And I never dream of messing with Sam. Only after all, you're my sister-in-law. Uh, and you know how Sam would never say a word unless he was sure. He said just now that he wasn't sure. But after all, a wife ought to know how a husband earns his money. And after all, you only knew how three weeks before you married. Oh, I know, Gordon. And Sam was always good to me. Especially after Pop died back home. But that doesn't give him or you the right to criticize Hype. I'm not so far off. Well, all Sam said was that he didn't think the famous Flanagan sister's corn syrup company was very successful. And still, you and Hype have three cars, and he got four closets full of clothes, and that diamond ring... Oh. And, and then yesterday, Sam followed Hype around the city. And Hype didn't go anywhere near any customers. Sam's been killing. I am mean, snooping around after Hype. Oh, that's contemptible. Oh, Hype? La- lovable? You're awfully late. A lot of work, Benny. Hello, buddy. Hello. Benny, I'm going to have some bologna and pumpernickel. Where's Sam? Uh, in the kitchen, having some bologna and pumpernickel. Uh, time to hit the hay, Benny. Uh, yeah. Good night, Carlos. Good night, Benny. Good night, Carlos. Uh. Benny, hmm? the guy drives me nuts. Ooh. Oh, Sam. I'm glad it. Now, listen, sweetheart, how about you tomorrow? Well, he won't be staying much longer. What do you mean, two years? Now, lover boy. They drive me nuts. They're always in the way. Sleep on a sofa. Drive Borrows my shirt. Needs my bologna and pumpernickel. Yeah. Getting so the only pleasure I have at home. Just taking off my shoes. I, I can't throw Sam and Gladys out, lover boy. They're all the family I got left. Benny. Benny, my customers down south got raided. Oh. I need a clear head, Benny. And that schmo brother of yours gets me so mad I can't think straight. Listen, you know, I'll, I'll do something dumb. And, honey, it'll be his fault. I'll, I'll, I'll murder the guy. Not so loud. I... Oh. Where are my pajamas? Sam got my pajamas? On the pillow. Uh, hi, I, I guess this is no time for you to be upset. Now, I, I better tell you instead of you finding it out. Why not what? Well, uh, Sam follows you around. What? No. He follows me around. Sam, that iron-headed clam digger? I'll brain him now, so help me. I... Where the Sam Hill of my slippers? I, I suppose he's got them too. Oh, I love her, boy. Please don't make a scene. I'll, uh... I'll get rid of them both by Saturday, I promise. Please love her, boy. 
You and Gladys, come on with me. I'll show you something. Hey, see, Sam? Where my flashlight shows now? The alcohol's made upstairs. From here to the cell of the alcohol gets piped to my corn syrup factory. A pipeline runs two miles in a, an abandoned sewer we found. Gosh, what a setup. Pipe, I sure got a hand it to you, fella. How oh, glad it's... Yeah, it's remarkable. Sam, how would you like to stay here? To uh, work here? Sam. Sam, he's up to something. Uh. Hi. You take us out of this cellar this minute. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, let's talk about it outside. Well, yeah. talk right here. I don't believe there was any message. You rushed Vinny off her feet. Now you want to sneak out and squeal on me. You're rotten, common by stool. What, me? You're crazy. You got it out. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Sam will be quiet. You stay here with him, Rodgers. It's the dark. It's the air. We'll die down here, you murderer. So long, both of you. For good. Why aren't you outside like I told you? Well, this thing's cars all around. I get scared. It's so dark and creepy in here. Cars? Holy uh, smoke, we got to get out of here. Oh, we can't leave Sam and Gladys. Never mind, ma'am. Come on, it's a side door. But Sam and Gladys... Oh, it's all right. Never mind. What? Oh, that doorway over there from the cellar when you were just off flashlight. Sam! Gladys, over here! Gordon, Mrs. Gordon, stand where you are. How does it, Gordon? Then he was shot. Oh, good, Gordon. Stop resisting, Gordon. He's not feeling surrounded. I don't want to get hurt. That's better. Handcuffs for Gordon, Peter. With pleasure. Gordon, you and all of your men are under arrest for making and selling illegal alcohol. Just now as we came in, we found Sam Vandervoort and his wife in the cellar. You'll be charged with their attempted murder. Sam, you didn't. Sam's a dirty stool pigeon. Oh. He was working for the counter spy. My own brother-in-law. You're wrong, Gordon. We only tricked him to trick you into leading us here to your still. Now your entire racket's smashed. All right, Peters, have these people held outside. And we'll start taking this place apart. 